Beloved beings of light, I'm Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. This is going to be a quick update with all these galactic energies coming in. This is the day after the powerful hybrid solar eclipse in Aries. Today is April 21st, 2023. It is 1.36 p.m. of this recording, Pacific Standard Time. We have a lot of energies coming in today. Mercury goes retrograde, so it is the universe telling us, the great spirit, to slow down, to take it easy, to relax, to self-nurture, to care for the self through this healing process and through this great ascension. Today also, we are in Taurus. The sun moved into Taurus yesterday. The moon was also in Taurus. The Taurian energy is the Venusian energy. This is connected also Buddha mind. This is the higher mind or higher self manifesting into the physical. This is the wisdom, the divine feminine energy coming in, the wisdom of the self merging with the knowledge of the north. The eagle and the condor come together, they fly together. The divine feminine, the divine masculine, Shakti, Shiva, Yin and Yang come together. In Heros Gamos, this is divine union energy so you're really going to be feeling this in the heart center connected to buddha mind which is pure awareness pure consciousness our true nature our true self we're going to begin here we have another trinity of activations we had the spike here at 13 hertz 13 is also connected divine goddess divine feminine and buddha mind this is the mother energies this is compassion kindness this is an open heart, divine vulnerability through neutrality. After this little spike here, we had, we're at 11 hours of blackout, the blackout, the void. This is the emptiness mind connected with the pure awareness, Buddha nature, pure mind. This is the mirror reflecting itself perfectly in its true nature. So we had these spikes coming in over the last several days, 11 hours. We have 1111 portal gateway. This is gateway energies through this eclipse. The eclipse has brought in a huge shift in the, the timelines of, we went through a major timeline leap, but we're uh, coming in and out of time. This is the quantum field. This is the quanta and it's accelerating. So Mercury's in a pull back the reins a little bit so that we can anchor into ourselves, anchor in these energies. This was an intense, very intense eclipse. I know many of you felt this fire energy. You felt many ascension symptoms, everything from heart palpitations to vertigo to expansion, third eye opening, crown chakra openings, kundalini activations, many things. So this Mercury coming into retrograde, this is slowing down the energy so that we can integrate, integrate these energies, integrate the shadow energies of the void. This is the unconscious coming, becoming conscious. This is integrating these deep, deep feelings into our conscious mind. Let's come over here. Pachamama also received a powerful activation through these energies in Indonesia on the ring of fire again with this 5.9 earthquake we also had a 5-7 mid Indian Ridge so 10 hours ago at 10-21 21, 21 21 33 energy 24 kilometers depth today's the 21st so we have the 333 21 21 21 energy coming in so this is the triple trinity and we have this trident this trifecta of energies through the three Dantians of the earth, of the cosmos, and of our physical vessel. Our physical vessel, our body, our avatar, our Merkaba, the Mer, the Ka, and the Ba, uh, synchronizing with the Trinity, the Father, the Mother, Father, the Child, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, symbolizing our spirit, 
our true nature, and our eternal self, our sacred self. So this very symbolic of awakening to our true nature, we're coming over here to Space Weather Live. You can see all these little activations and these C-class flares synchronizing with the code coming in on the Schumann charts. You can see they're matching these little pulses coming in on the Schumann. Mother Earth and Father, Son, they come together. This is part of the Heros Gamos. Also, the, it's also eter internal. The heart and mind merge together as one. This is the oneness. This is unity consciousness. So we have the pulsing of the sun. This is the quanta. This is a flashing light. The solar flash we talk about, it's building to the ultimate solar flash. But you see this big spike after all these little activations of, and releases. This is transmitting code from the great central sun, mother, father, God, into the earth, into the field, into this realm activating all our star seed earth angelics of the 144 and we have 177 yesterday keen 77 uh, today is the last day of this wave spell tomorrow we begin the blue storm wave spell on the 22nd the 2222 22 of the 44 portal so we have here at 1810 utc let me reflect refresh this screen here for a moment they haven't updated here but we can go up into the chart here, 5177. Uh, see where it, it maxed out here. We get this 177 at 1810 UTC, 177 code of the 771 mirror. And we come over here, we can see this beautiful release. This is a dragon energy, uh, earth directed explosion of the sun. This is the M. It was close to M2 class, uh, magnetic filament snaking across the sun. This is the S curve. This is the sine wave. This is uh, we call the one law, the pulse of the universe being manifest through our local Solaris. And this is also Buddha energy, the uh, divine feminine energy merging with the masculine the sun, the fire with the earth, the water, you know, the holy water merging with the holy fire, creating sacred steam or the mist, the mist of Avalon, the Avalonian energies of Merlin, the Merlin lineage, the dragon kings and queens have returned. This is the 144,000, which is symbolized by the now the the new earth eagle condor and we're feeling this also through our central channel our katika as the kundalini rises heaven and earth meet together through the rainbow bridge of our sacred vessels in the heart center the still white magnetic light the center of all things so the uh, cme is heading towards the earth we also had yesterday this amazing solar tornado launched into space. You can see this filament coming off of the sun, very powerful around the north pole of the sun. This is connected to our true north, our way home, the way in, the way to the kingdom of heaven within. So let us know in the comments how you're feeling, what you're experiencing. How was your eclipse? We're at 1.44 p.m. Now PST, 1.44 code. The codes are coming in constantly now. The synchronicities, the signs, the omens, you're seeing them everywhere now. This is all coming together for our final activations, uh, the event energies. We are the event, but we must live from our heart, being Christ consciousness, the Christosophia consciousness of pure awareness, pure consciousness, without any hindrance, without any filters. We transcend all of the programs, all of the simulation, all of the false projections into the true projection, our true north, connecting with the south. This is eagle condor energies. We talk a lot about this. So 
Thank you all for joining me today. I'm going to end it here to continue my work. Be sure to join us in our full transmissions tonight. If you'd like to support our work, our mission, this channel, help us continue bringing these daily transmissions and knowledge and information such as this video. You can make a monthly pledge or one-time donation. The links are at egolovecondor.com. They're in the description below. All the different ways you can contribute if you can. And also it helps us a lot if you uh, like, leave a comment, and ultimately share this video. Helps get our information, our knowledge, our gnosis out to more of our rainbow tribe of the new earth, our 144,000 on mission for this great awakening, for this ascension. So thank you all very much. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.